banger week for uh, the good folks over at Discovery who just bought DC, amongst other things. <laughs> Boy, you talk about buyer's remorse. Oh, God and, and look, we're going to talk about two stories. There's a third. Fantastic Beast and Where You Find Them or whatever the fuck that Harry Potter spinoff is. That shit tanked. <laughs> that yeah, shit tanked. I heard those movies are not good. Yo. <laughs> I can't get through the first one. And I like I like the Harry Potter series a lot. I've read the books. I've seen all the movies. Like I love that shit. I was like, this is not interesting to me. I don't care about this. I can't get it through the first movie, so I'll never know. Um, but yeah, that the third movie is not doing well at all. Um, they even replaced Johnny Depp's character, um, or replaced him with Mads Mikkelsen because of what we're about to talk about. Um, so. Johnny Depp's $50 million defamation lawsuit is in full swing against Amber Heard, um, who is in Aquaman 2, uh, or will soon be in Aquaman 2. Um, and so you can watch footage. Like, this shit is, like, super public. And you can hear video or audio tape, uh, which we already knew about, um, of her admitting to hitting Johnny Depp. She was like, I wasn't punching you, I was hitting you. That's still, that's assault, <laughs> brother. Like, doesn't really, doesn't really clean it up. Um, yeah, that's that, that I mean, potato, potato. I guess I was just uh, slapping the shit out of you. I wasn't punching you, like abuse, <laughs> like whatever. Um, I what feel like, defense. yeah, it's, it's a crazy defense. Apparently, like she took like dog shit and put it on his nightstand, and she was like, "Oh, the dogs did it." Like they climbed up on the nightstand and pooped. Like that shit <laughs> don't make sense. And Johnny Depp was like, "Yo, the poop was bigger than the dogs." Like. Like they got like Yorkies. Like now you went and got this, this shit from another dog. <laughs> like you're weird. Um, which it sounds like she is pretty weird. Um, look, I think they're both weird. Um, look, Johnny Depp was removed from fantastic beasts, um, two. Um, and then Disney also put the, the, um, those pirates movies on hold, uh, which is fine by the way. Um, because he was said to have been abusing Amber Heard. According to her. Now we have audio evidence that he was being abused by her. I don't know if she was telling the truth. I, I'm just going to take her at her word, I guess, um, that he was also abusive. But we know that she was. So why is she in Aquaman? Like, if the same company can Johnny Depp, why are they keeping her? Seems like all's fair here. Like... She should probably be pulled from that movie. I mean, I would pull both of them from all of their projects simply because I don't want that smoke. I don't want any backlash. I don't it's not want worth any, it. I, I got a brand, guys. Like, I got a brand to protect, mm. right? And look, I understand, right? No, no matter what side of that you fall on, right? Like... You want to, everyone's so tribal and shit, even though, like, I mean, nobody asked my opinion, but both of these motherfuckers need to go away for a while. Yep. Um, but, but I, yo, I got a brand to protect. I don't mind helping people get through whatever they got to get through, but I'm, I, if I, if I am an employer and I see that my employee is like on drugs or some shit. And it is detrimental to my business, my livelihood. Right. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna push that person to towards some help. But I Over gotta there. let them go. <laughs> right? Over you can there. get help. You can get help. I'll pay for it. I will pay for it. But you got to be away from my brand, yo, because I can't have people. Like I don't understand why people and and people do it for the most. People are people are doing it for like people are. People are selfish, right? Like they just want their stupid movies to come out. Right. And like, nah, yo, like this is this is like some Eminem style, like circa two thousand style, like violent relationship shit. Yeah, this is not good. This is like this is what this is what the Joker and Harley Quinn's relationship is in real life. You're right. And and, <laughs> and like this is not like this is some goals, guys. This is sad. This shit yeah. is sad, man. Yeah. Um, I, and, and I think they got kids, yo. Like, do they? Oh god. I I don't know if they have kids with each other, but I but like I I but I think they got kids, man. And 
nah, yo, Mm-mm. you gotta, you gotta let these people just kind of just push these people off to the sides. If I was this movie studio and I would, uh, and you know, just cut bait, I cut bait, but no, nah, you'll cut bait. <laughs> like, I, look, sorry, sorry. Look, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't want it. Like, like you said, like there are people now are like, I'm not going to see Aquaman two if Amber Heard is still in this movie. So now you fu- like, look, I think there, there are completely legitimate reasons. I, I agree. I, I agree with you, by the way, the point of like people just being like, ah, but I just want my movie. Like it, there, there's a bigger issue here. Like there's a much larger, yeah, issue, right? Like this is actually <laughs> physical abuse. Um, which is not good. I also think there is a larger conversation to be had about taking serious all types of abuse, right? Like, just because you think, like, Johnny Depp should be able to fight Amber Heard, like, that's crazy. Like, you should take it seriously. Like, you know, she apparently, like, severed, like, the top of his finger. Like, that's, if the roles were reversed, yo, know, we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> It'd be like, Johnny Depp can't be in anything ever again. Like, this is, we're done here, right? So you got to take it seriously. Um no matter what what the gender is, right? Like you got to have an, like, I just want it to be an even hand, right? Like if you're a, being an abuser on either side, like if Johnny Depp was abusing, according to her, and again, I'm going to take her at her word because that seems to be what the court found. Fine. Then fuck him too. Like, like there's no like, oh, what was Johnny Depp? Like don't ruin his career. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Um, And she needs to go away too. But, like, there's also the other aspect of this, which is, like, from a business aspect, like you said, you're protecting a brand. Like, yo, Discovery just bought this company. You think they want to have, and we'll talk about it, we'll talk about them in a second, but you think they want to have this bullshit? This is a public court case. This is happening in Virginia right now. This is happening in Fairfax, Virginia. This court case is going on right now. I don't know why in Fairfax, but... It's just happening right now. You think they want that shit on their plate? Fuck no. Then, um, like, they're trying to get the DC shit running finally, and they're trying to make all these changes, and then you got this bullshit, and apparently Jason Momoa and Amber Heard don't have good chemistry anyway, and, like, didn't really kind of get along that well. Like, they were thinking about, like, kind of getting rid of her in the first movie. Well, it is a perfect time. <laughs> like, you got to go. go. Yo, Aquaman yeah. made a billion dollars, yo. You think Aquaman they're trying to made sa- a billion dollars. You think they're trying to sacrifice that kind of money? They can't, like, you got to think. Are they willing to risk a massive outcry from people who are like, yo, you kept an, a, 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 an abuser, not by anybody's word, by her own admission on tape that she abused this guy. You're going to keep this woman on there? You think they're willing to risk that money? That could be lost in this. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I think Discovery is going to be like, cool, um, reshoot that shit. <laughs> Somebody else. Yeah, man. Do I don't what think they you did with f- that movie. I, I, look, you got to do what you did with that movie with Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Right? Remember Kevin Spacey was was caught like fucking raping boys and shit. Like they 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 cut they cut his entire. He was the fucking co lead of that movie. Yeah, they replaced him, and, he, and they and they replaced him. They reshot everything. I feel like you got to do that, man. I feel yeah, like you got to do that. And it might sound like we're being like, I hope it doesn't come off like we're being heartless or we're being like, you know, corporate bootlickers and shit. Because like, no, nah, yo, no, fuck corporations. Like, <laughs> Right, like uh, they, I'm not getting paid by them people, but at the same time, man, like I understand what it's like. I understand what it's like to have a business. I understand what it's like to be a part of something, and you don't want to watch it crumble because somebody else, because because of some nonsense by someone and their and their fucking dumbass spouse or ex spouse. Right, like, like, and also you you have to put into into perspective that this company just bought them. <laughs> they just, they're like, all right, let's get started. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Yo, can you imagine those three stories hit all within a week of each other? Yo, fantastic beast is a piece of shit. Oh, great. That's awesome. How much should we pay for this? Cool. $48 billion. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Oh, um, what's that? Oh, Ezra Miller, uh, arrested. Yeah, no, we heard about that. No, again, 
again, again. Cool, great. Remember how we just had a meeting about this this person the other day? Oh, great. Oh, this is again. Awesome. Fucking wonderful. In Hawaii, he hasn't left yet. Can we get a plane over there to get him back to the mainland? He clearly has an issue, or uh, they have an issue over there. Oh, Amber Heard. Oh, yeah, we liked Aquaman. Again, another thing? Yeah, this is awful. This is awful. Get the fuck out of here. Look, one of the things, if you're a CEO of Discovery, you got to make a strong, you got to make a strong decision here. Because the last people, they didn't do shit, right? They didn't do shit. They knew about the Amber Heard shit when Aquaman 1 came out. They knew, and they let the shit slide. They knew about the Ezra Miller shit during, like, like after Justice League, and they kept them on. They didn't do shit. If you're the CEO of Discovery, you got you to gotta, you gotta differentiate yourself from the last regime. And the way you differentiate is by going, this is a hard decision, but we got to make it. Yeah, I don't man. see I don't I don't see how she sticks around. Like I think people are going to be pissed if you got rid of Johnny Depp. And that's not because is Johnny Depp and they really dying to see him in Fantastic Beasts or anything, but it just feels un it's it's uneven to fire that guy in and that was under Warner and then keep Amber Heard under Warner and let her continue her career on, underneath you guys. I think that's crazy. That is crazy. Also you're risking Jason Momoa's movie. That, again, that movie made a billion dollars, yo. They're not trying to have that movie make three hundred million dollars this time, <laughs> right, yo? I just, it's gonna be real interesting when that movie comes out. Like, what happens? It's gonna be real interesting, man. Look, I, look, I can tell you, if I'm if I'm Discovery, I'll make that decision this week, this week, next week, yo, early, at the earliest. You're done. That movie's that movie's supposed to come out in March, man. Nah, they don't like, have that kind of time, yo. You, mm-mm. <laughs> no, because you got you got you got to you got to make that decision. You got to find a person to replace her. I have my uh, uh, suggestions. Um, you got to replace that person. You got to get that person into recording those those scenes. You got to re-edit the film, and you got to get it ready for prime time by March. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. And you got to make it not look like shit. Oh, man. Yeah, good luck with all that. No, you got you to you gotta get rid of her. You got to get rid of her. You have to. You have to. So, you know, moving on from there, um, let me just repeat the exact same story I just told you. Um, Ezra Miller uh, arrested again. I can't stop, won't stop. Um Arrested for the second time in just under a month. Um, Ezra Miller's reign of terror continues in Hawaii, as this Polygon or AV Club article says. Um, As a Flash actor was arrested for the second time in little under a month um, uh, for second degree assault. Uh, Miller was arrested Tuesday at around one uh, one thirty in the morning after they were were asked um, to leave a private residence in the uh, district of Pune. Uh, Miller reportedly became angry, throwing a chair at one of the women present. During the course of the investigation, police determined that the individual later identified as Ezra Miller uh, became irate after being asked to leave, reportedly through a chair, striking a 26-year-old woman on the forehead. Wow. Resulting Jesus. in an approximately a half an inch cut. Um. Yeah, okay. Yo, they're only 29, yo. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I, what are you doing? What are you doing? I, I look, they need help. Uh, we said it last time. Like, I don't, I don't have a problem with helping people. I really don't. I, I think, um, I think people nowadays are, you know, it's so cute to say, you know, let's cancel this person. Right. Stupid. I don't need to cancel people, right? I if people if people obviously need help, like I'm all for helping people. But at the same time, again, at the, like I can help you over there, but like this train gotta keep moving. You know what yeah. I mean? Like if someone is flipping out on a plane and it's already airborne, like they subdue that person, but that plane gotta that plane gotta keep going. 
No, you just duct you know tape I mean? them, duct tape them to the seat, and keep it moving. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, like if we got to duct tape Ezra Miller to to somebody's to somebody's seat, man, uh, go ahead and do it. Yeah. But like this shit is uncalled for, man. It, it really is. And I'm saying, you know, get help, get help. But like at some point, at, this should keep happening. Look, I know me, man. I'm 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 gonna be like fuck help, and just put them <laughs> away. <laughs> like I'm serious, man. Like I can't. I don't want to be like that. But at the same time, like if this person is not getting the help they need, then they need to be put away until someone can come and help them. Yeah. I I don't know what I don't know what you do, man. I don't know what you do. Also, you know, I mean, I shouldn't play this game, but I can't help it. Like, can you imagine if this was literally? Anybody that looked like you or me. Oh, pfft. look how they treated. Look how they treated a uh, black dude, uh, Cybro. Like they gave him the business. I mean, I still don't know what happened because he like never gave hard concrete <laughs> examples, which was just weird. Um, but if Ray Fisher was throwing chairs, at nah, people- yo, he'd have been done. And look, <laughs> that, look, and that's yeah, nothing. I, I just, I didn't care for your portrayal of cyborg i just thought it was overly serious but whatever um no nah, you know if if ray fisher was out here throwing chairs in hawaii they would have canned his ass like they it just wouldn't have been a question this violent thug um needs to go it wouldn't be a question yeah man i just uh yeah i don't know i mean that's not fair to play that game but at the same nah, time but i like, enjoy it <laughs> yeah, like, like it just i'm just wow I mean, look, wow. one thing I will say, anybody who thinks back and says, well, I think Marvel made a mistake getting rid of Terrence Howard, I would say, no, they did not. Yeah, no, man. <laughs> no, they didn't. Not with his history, they didn't. They made a mistake hiring him to begin with. <laughs> like, they're like, that's a risky move. That was a more risky move than Robert Downey Jr., quiet as it's kept. Because that dude has not been on press tours because he got in trouble for beating his ex girlfriend or his ex wife. Yeah, like in the yeah. modern era. So, like, oh no, I missed. Uh, uh, you know, um, Terrence Howard. Nope. <laughs> Look, Marvel does not have this issue. They do not. I don't no. know what the difference is. I don't know if they got like a serious bad boy clause. Like, don't fuck up. <laughs> like, don't fuck up. You, you look. We can CGI a new person in blue paint. Like, get out. <laughs> but this is why it does matter um, who you hire. It really does. Um, so I look. I think I think Ezra Miller's done. I just cannot imagine they keep him on, or excuse me, keep them on. Um, what happens to this movie? My what happens my. To I so I think it gets released. I think Cam uh, and our fan group, I think, has the right idea, which is it's a multiverse movie. At the end of the movie, you just have a different actor be like, oh, well, that was weird. <laughs> like, and they're just a new Flash, dude. And just move on. Just move on. Look, I'm no fan of the CW. I think they are very samey shows. Um, it's not my thing. But at this point, I think Grant Gustin is their best move. I really do. I, I think he's already... Part of the multiverse as it is since, you know, Ezra Miller's version showed up on his show. Like, just, just, and they're, they're talking about all these CW hero shows being on the chopping block. Yeah, they're all ending soon. I think uh, Green Arrow's done. Supergirl's done. Yeah. I think Flash, this might be his last season. No, like, it's not the last season, but I, I, I don't think so. But I, I would announce it and be like, look, he's got one, he's got one more season. Right, like you put him at the end of at the end of Flashpoint, give his show a, a final season where then he goes through a fucking wormhole or whatever and tie it into that movie, and then like bring a, bring some of the principal characters over. Why not bring them into the movies? Look, you got you got Killer Frost. Wouldn't you got be, like just fucking bring them over. Who cares at that point? Wouldn't that be wild? Like like back in the day, young people. Um, when televisions were when television shows were very successful and they ended, they usually had like a swan song with a movie, right? Yep. 
wouldn't it be fucking wild if those CW actors got to be in uh, a big budget movie and then holy shit, everybody liked it. Now you guys are the movie stars. Like you are our movie DC heroes. Dude, why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? Fucking wild. Look, dude. look, the, the, the reality <laughs> is like Grant Gustin is a perfectly fine flash, right? Like, look, you're going to have the Hollywood. You're going to have the Hollywood it up, buddy. All that little hyper skinny shit. Mm-mm. They're not going. They're not going to want that. You have to put. You gonna have to put on some muscle. Like I mean, you, look. I mean, look. look they're gonna they're pay. Going to. Look, they're gonna pay him to get swole. Like, yeah, that's, they're going to. You, know, you gonna have to. Get, it's easy to get swole when you when you when you yeah. when your company is paying you to do it. Right. So, so like, yeah. Just, I'm. I'm just saying, like, look, you gotta move all of. Like, it's the multiverse, right? So you don't have to like carry over everything as if it's a one to one, like. Everyone has to be there, right? Like you don't have to move CC jitters over to <laughs> to the movies, um, but which is a weird coffee name. Um, but like, move the Flash. Like, if you want to move um, Reverse Flash, like I think that guy's a pretty good Reverse Flash. He's he's great. Um, Iris West, like, move all those characters, right? Joe, all those characters. Move the principal characters that they, like that people know and everything else. Move them over. Why can't Killer Frost show up in a Suicide Squad movie? Like, start to spread it out then. Why not? Like, you know, yeah, that man. guy who plays Cisco who left the show, he probably like, God damn it. <laughs> like, I should have stuck, should have stuck with it. <laughs> but bring him over. Why not? Like, if you want if Grant Gustin and those people are willing to do it, bring him over. Why not, man? Look what happened. Look what's happening with Daredevil. It's likely those characters are getting moved to the movies. Why yeah. not? Like, instead of getting a new actor and trying to train them and tell them about the characters, fuck it. Just have these characters get a soft reboot because of the multiverse, whatever bullshit, hand wave it away. Soft reboot into the movie universe. There's your flash. And because you're, because you finish this movie, it's not like you got to make a flash movie with him right away. You give him time. He's got time to bulk up and show up in other people's movies and get you know, show that the universe is bigger than just that and like move on. I don't think, I think the the biggest problem with those shows is they don't have budgets. So the shit looks ridiculous. Yeah. They have, but, they have, uh, they have, you know, motorcycle jacket budgets. You know what I mean? Right. Like uh, you, you put them in a, yeah, they look love, ridiculous. Yeah, man. That's what you should do. There you go. Discovery. That's yeah. a, that's a freebie. Yes. Yeah. You know, like, just, just pull Give Grant Gustin over, man. If that's what he wants to do, like he may not want to play the role anymore. But my guess is when they're like, "Yo, you want ten million dollars to play?" It's be like, yeah, "I can do that. I can, I, I, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no problem. 